Hello, and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting the Transformation Extender product from IBM. The topic for this video is deploying the ITX REST API to JBoss. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. In this practical demonstration, I'm going to show you the extracted JBoss package and I'm going to start the standalone server. I will connect to the admin console and show that zero apps have been deployed. I will then deploy the WAR from ITX 10.1.1.1. You will notice there are many errors displayed. I will then update the configuration to remove references to JAX-RS and then I will use a patched tx.war file from APAR PH46777. I will manually explode it and then redeploy. The ITX REST API will then come up and I will demonstrate the status, swagger and endpoints pages. Finally, I will use a curl command to execute a standard two upper test map. I'm going to start this practical demonstration with a Windows Explorer view of the directory where I have extracted the contents of JBoss EAP 7.4. As you can see, there is a bin directory, which I'm going to go into, and I have added a file called setenv.cmd, where there are two lines to set my Java home and my DTX home directory. I'm going to open a command prompt here execute the setenv command and then execute the standalone command. After a short while you will get a message saying that the admin console is listening on port address and port. I'm now going to open that address in my browser. I log in with the standard admin admin credentials and I go to the deployments page. As you can see nothing is currently deployed. I'm now going to blindly deploy the TX application and show you the errors that appear on the console. To deploy the TX application, I'm going to go to the TX directory, into REST API, and I'm going to copy the tx-rest.war file into the deployments directory, which is in JBoss, underneath standalone, and there we have it, deployments. And many errors will come up in this display. As you can see, a is deploying file has been created. Lots of error messages in the console. And finally, you will see a message saying failed to start service. In the deployments directory, we have a dot failed file. OK, so now I'll show you how to deploy the file properly. First thing to do is to temporarily stop the standalone server. I press Control C. I do not terminate the batch job. Let the script finish. I'm going to go back to the JBoss directory and into standalone and configuration. Here I'm going to edit the standalone.xml file. I'm going to look for the string jaxrs and remove any line that includes it. So here we go, line 10 I'm removing and line 390 I am removing. I could just comment them out, but when the file is read and then written back again, it removes them anyway, so it's easier just to remove them. So I'm going to save that file. You will note that the file has been updated and a dot back has been created. I'm going to close my command prompt and I'm going to copy in another couple of lines into my setenv.command file. My set env command now contains four lines, as well as the Java home and the DTX home dir, I am setting a couple of extra variables to point to the deployments directory, and then within there, tx-rest backslash web-inv. I can now open a command prompt again and start the standalone server at this point. And into the deployments directory, I will need to copy the patched version of the WAR file. I cannot just copy it directly in, it needs to be exploded into there first, for which I shall use 7-zip. 
I shall right click, drag and drop, and then in 7-zip I shall say extract to tx-rest. So I'm extracting the WAR file into a subdirectory called tx-rest, and then I'm copying the WAR file into tx-rest. This step starts off the deployment. You can see it happening in the console there. The is deploying file has been created and now that it's finished we see a tx-rest.war.deployed file. Let's see if we can connect to the page and check that it's actually up and running. We'll connect to the web console first and go into the deployments page. You will see tx-rest.war file is listed as deployed. Next we will connect to the DX REST confirmation page that shows that the REST API has been up and running it says for 47 seconds. Finally we will open the Swagger page for the TX REST API. One last step, I'm going to run the curl command to execute a map. I'm going to open a new command prompt and paste the curl command in. This curl command will try to execute a map called 2upper it will send in a buffer of the word stuff and it retrieve the content of output card 1 for the map. When executed, the output card for the map returns stuff in capitals. So there you have it. That's how to deploy the ITX 10.1.1.1 REST API patched version to JBoss EAP 7.4 on the Windows platform. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button and perhaps leave a comment. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content such as this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.